So I've got a 2016 Polaris Ranger XP. It's the 900. Um, got a neighbor that actually just put a lift on his crew. Same exact one, 900 XP, except he's got the crew model. And what I did is, is he put a pretty well-known name brand lift on his. Well, me being cheap as usual, I went on eBay. Got the eBay kit, which comes with all the nuts, bolts, spacers, everything else. Uh, the kit he got, you can definitely tell it's, it's better quality where the brackets and everything go together are actually welded together. So, like if these two stood upright two inches apart, there would have been another uh, piece of steel in between them welded together to make it pretty much a, a single solid piece. But I'm going to do a review on this lift, uh, the ease of install, uh, ride quality, um, and I'm going to get some measurements to see if I actually get the true two inches that I'm supposed to. So I think back here what I'll do is I will get one of my measurements. Actually, I'll go ahead and get the measurement because i got the tape measure in my pocket. Step on the bottom of that down there so it doesn't go anywhere. Let's go to the bottom of the A. The bottom of my A is about, the sunlight is so bright on that. Bottom of my A is about 33 and three quarters. That's on the back. So 33 and thir three quarters should be up to 35 and three quarters uh, after the lift. And then what I'll do on the front is, which I don't have the bumper on here right this second. This is another thing that I'll be telling you a little bit more about later is this Badlands winch. But what I'll do is I'll go to the edge of the winch bracket, which just to the bottom of it gives me right about 21 inches. It's actually going to be a little over 21, 21 and an eighth or so. Tell you what, we'll do the top so we have a good even number to the top edge of that winch. is going to be 24 inches. So we'll see if I get the true 26 and um, after the lift. And like I said, I'll let you know if I run any problems, if everything goes good, and you know, if I come up with any tips or tricks on the way, uh, way through this process. So I'll get back to you once I get finished up. All right. So me and little Lee got the lift done. Uh, it's been about right at an hour and a half to do front and rear. Uh, everything went probably a lot better than most projects I do. Uh, I could definitely tell it's taller looking at it. I probably could have shaved 30 minutes off, but I kind of use this as a learning experience. Lee, you got to turn some wrenches today, didn't you? Yep, did you have fun? Yep, so he got to turn some wrenches under the side by side, and that way he gets to learn a little bit about how things work and how to use tools and everything else. I'm gonna shut the tailgate. What I'm gonna do is a quick measurement just off the jack, which really isn't gonna tell me much. Uh, the biggest thing is, you know, I'm going to take it, drive it around the neighborhood for a minute and uh, let the suspension articulate, kind of see where we're at. I want to say this was around 24 or so. Maybe it was 26. So it may have been 26. So as you can see now, which I'll go back to the video and verify that for sure, but it's about an inch and three quarters is what I got on that front. Like I said, it still needs to articulate because all I did was just drop it off the jacks real quick. And uh, I think I did the bottom of the A on the back end. So the bottom of my A is now oh, 37 and a quarter. So you can definitely tell it's got a, a beefier stance for sure. Um, I really like the way it looks with that. I mean, two inches I didn't think would be very noticeable but it's a lot more noticeable than I thought. Now something else I'll tell you all about another day, the U-Track seat, I installed that a couple nights ago. That way, you know, I've got room in the front for me and my wife, I got room in the back for the kids and it has seat belts and everything. Like I said, that's, that's a whole nother video. So I'll, we'll drive it around for 15, 20 minutes or so. I'll come back, I'll get another measurement that where we got a very accurate reading of where it's sitting now. So me and Little Lee just got back from a ride. Uh, it may be a little bit firmer of a ride. I really only put about 15 minutes on it or so. So I really don't have much of a, a feel for how it's gonna feel, but uh, I should be off road tomorrow. So if anything 
crazy comes of it, I'll get back and let you know. So after riding for a few minutes, uh, let's see, the back we started at 33 and a quarter, I believe, at the A, which is the A on this side. So 33 and a quarter is now 36 and a half. Wow, that's uh, two and three quarter inches. So it's supposed to be a, a two inch lift. So it may get a little bit of settling. I'm not really sure how these lifts are supposed to work. So that, but, you know, I did get my, my true two inches plus in the rear. So now at the front, I believe I was 24 to the top of the winch bracket right here. 24, so now I am almost 26 and a quarter. Uh, we'll call it 26 and a quarter, so it makes my math easy. Actually about an eighth of an inch less, or a sixteenth of an inch less, sorry. Uh, so 24 to 26, so that is, that's uh, two and a quarter inches, wow. So I, I did get more than two inches on the entire lift. This lift was just an eBay special. Uh, it took me an hour and a half. Like I said, I took my time with it because I, I had little Lee help me. He got to actually unbolt things and bolt stuff back up and let him use my uh, electric impact driver. Um, <clears throat> but eBay, I think it was $44 shipped to the door. It's uh, just a two inch lift. Uh, the brackets go in very simple. You just jack it up brackets go in place you can see the the black tab bracket right here one goes on the inside of the bracket the other goes on the outside of the original factory bracket they all come with lock nuts um, nylon lock nuts and pretty much only thing I had to do for the rear was jack it up disconnect the sway bar I did have a, a sway bar drop on there so I had to put that little extension bracket in there uh, so the, the back was a little more difficult than the front which really wasn't difficult at all neither one in the front i had to jack it up same thing just has a bracket that goes on comes with all the the nuts and bolts and hardware you need so 44 bucks so far i'm i'm happy with it i got everything i paid for um may not be as durable as the 180 200 sets but uh time will time will tell but for right now you know, I did get a true two inches, actually more than two inches on both. So I'm very happy. Got any questions, comments, uh, running any problems with your kit, feel free to uh, send me a message. I'll be happy to give you any details on it. Uh, let you know what I've run into. Like I said, I really didn't have any snags. Everything was, like I said, much better than, than most of the projects that I get started on. So. Like I said, any questions, comments, just send them to me. I'll get them, get back to you.